yo guys welcome back to my channel if you've not done already click the subscribe button and follow me across all my social media platforms the links are in the description box below also like the video on your way in okay just so that you don't forget to do so okay boom um on a personal note i may have c19 unfortunately coronavirus yeah it's all mad in the dunya um try to avoid it uh, it's, it's looking like i may have it but i've done that whole um pcr test you know the one where you go outside um and you, you you know you shove that stick up your nose that sort of test so hopefully the results come back and it's all amazing but right now i've got a bit of a cough so forgive me if i sound a little bit raspy in this video but we move okay this the show must go on anyway the topics of today number one do we think Chizora should retire? That's a big topic of question right at this moment of time. And the second one is Jake Paul. What next? Where does he go? Um, and I may touch a little bit on just recognizing the WBA situation with Spence and Ugas and what that means for the world to eight division. But that's always the back end, okay? Let's take care of Derek Chizora first now. Great performance from Derek and Joseph Parker. Um, very, very um, entertaining fight on the weekend. But Derek got hit to the head a lot of times. Okay, and if you just think about how many times he got hit to the head, um, not even in this fight, but throughout his career, aggressively and the amount of wars he's been in. We're talking Vitali Klitschko, David Hay. We're talking um, two Tyson Fury fights. Well, at that time, I don't think Tyson Fury was. You know the biggest of punches but it's still you know two you know tough Tyson Fury fights he also had the two Dillian White fights where one of which he got knocked down uh, knocked out he had the Carlos Taka fight where that was another war yeah he's had a couple of wars in his time and I think there should be some level of um what's that thing called safeguarding in the sport of boxing whereby fighters of this ilk should be told or should be monitored a lot closely everything to do with neuro, like neurology so make him i don't know if you if you look if you ever done a neurology test okay you know what i'm talking about you're gonna have to sit in the room you get they'll tell you okay what's the difference between this picture that picture boom they'll read you out some numbers you're gonna read it back to them those sort of tests yeah if you've never done it before you might not know what i'm talking about but because I was ill, suffered from cancer prior to uh, my my um, my chemo and everything, I done those tests and then I done it afterwards. And yeah, they they can see the the, the contrasting difference between where you was and where you are. Anyway, but they should they should definitely do that with Derek Chisora throughout for the rest of the remaining um, years of of what he's got left in, to fight. I think they should just. I think they should just allow him maybe one more fight at most but I, I think personally he should retire because i know he physically he could probably do another 12 rounds <laughs> no questions asked he could probably beat up some of the you know some of the top guys we have in the heavyweight divisions maybe top 15 he could beat a couple of them okay maybe he could be uh, he could cause Andrew Ruiz some trouble maybe even beat Deontay Wilder or, or, or smash up Luis Ortiz but at the same time, you have to also think, he, even though he will beat them, he'll probably go with another war, you know, throughout those fights. And then by the time he gets to 60 years old, we don't want to be in a position where he where he can't remember, he can't even remember his name or where he is, or he's just, you know, in, in a wheelchair, etc. And he, you know, he can't remember you know, what's going on. You don't want to be in that situation or he tried to say something but we're not understanding what he's saying because he's slurring his words a lot more okay um so at this moment in time for me and i really like derek and i, I wish that it was all like virtual and none of these things you know the neurological factors could be considered and we could just watch him like you know every every weekend if you can 
but this is for a boxer where you get punched in the head <laughs> and there's got to be a limit of how many times you should get punched in the head before you decide to call it quits and I think right now Derek or maybe one more fight one more fight and call it quits maybe one if, if you want to go for another big fight or a big war Deontay Wilder Deontay Wilder that's up and with Deontay Wilder it's not going to be a a slow you know beating up process it's just gonna if, if Deontay Wilder's gonna win it's gonna be a quick bang you're out type of a scenario like a Dilly White scenario so and he's gonna recover from that bit better than if it's just a you know a, a, a constant thump into the head that's just ferocious but it's gonna cause you more damage than the person just knocking you out you know putting you to sleep um but overall well done to Jezora well done to Jezora Joseph Parker I want to see him next against and potentially even an Andy Ruiz some people have been saying um Joe Joyce and I know with Joe Joyce he's he's around the same level as Andy Ruiz but on the on the rankings Joe Joyce is a little bit higher um on some of the rankings but I've like in terms of just value for me watching it I think Ruiz will want it just as much as Joseph Parker probably would because of the fact that um, Ruiz got you know beaten by Joseph Parker potentially even controversial um, decision but nevertheless on paper he got beaten by Joseph Parker so that could be a good fight for the pair of them but overall I'm very impressed with Joseph Parker and I want to see him step it up even more in his next couple of fights I remember I was, I was watching the Jake Paul versus uh, Deji fight the first ever uh, sort of a YouTube boxing event. It was happening at. It what was it. It was at the Copper Box. Uh, it was KSI versus Joe Weller. It was um, Jake Paul versus. Oh no, was was Jake Paul on the card? Remind me, okay, who, who was on that card? And it was a guy. That, remember that guy doing the TikTok dance? You yeah, remember that, yeah? And it, some of you guys will probably remember, but to see that he's developed over three years to be in to be a guy who at one stage was a UFC world champion it's it's big things man it's definitely big things i get the criticism he's not being an official boxer but let's let's not forget this guy came from nickelodeon okay or disney channel this guy came from big disney channel yeah to now beating up ufc fighters okay he was shook of fighting ksi he was sh I don't think some of you guys are like remember, but he, KSI called him out. He was he was so shook. He said, "Nah, nah, nah you know, I don't want that fight. I'm just chilling, regardless." Like he was proper shook. Then KSI said, "Right, cool. Say no more. I'll fight Logan instead." And he went on to do his own little things and started boxing way after against um, Deji. I remember he he, he faced Deji, um, and Deji gave him a run for his money. And he was whack, and I never thought he'll be this big, but. And you have to give a man credit where credit is due. And you know what? He's probably doing better for boxing than a lot of people. Because if you think about it, he's beating up UFC guys in the ring. So he's demonstrating that YouTube boxers in, in the boxing ring are far superior than a UFC fighter in the boxing ring. Which diminishes the credibility of how good the UFC fighters are if they just had a one-on-one -on -one battle you know uh, like just meeting up with each other because in one combat a youtuber has beaten you and that's crazy that is that is absolutely crazy i know he's not renowned for his you know his upper body movement but you get the gist um but i want to see i want to see jake in with ksi I, I, or jake or, or even tommy fury but you know, one of those two, I'll be really happy if he's talking about um, that UFC fighter that fought Conor McGregor. I got knocked out in the second round. What was his name again? Nate Diaz. Nate Diaz. He's thinking about potentially fighting Nate Diaz. That's a good fight as well. But I don't think he's got nothing left to prove in regards to fighting UFC fighters because I think he'll beat Nate Diaz. Um, just how I see the UFC guys and and how they manage the distance and how they control the range of a boxing ring. I don't think they'll hack it. I just don't think they'll hack it. So I think he'll be um he'll be he'll be um Nate Diaz comfortably. And it's Nate Diaz he's good at his hands, but yeah, Jake boxing skill is a big difference. Unless unless 
Uh, Nate has been working with, I think, I'm, and I'm hearing he was working with Andre Ward back in the day. I, I get it, but unless he knows what he's doing in the boxing ring, it's all Jake for me. Let's move on to the last bit. We've got good news. We've got Errol Spence over the weekend being ordered to fight uh, Ugas, okay? This has been coming after just battles with the WBA. Ugas just sticking it on them, saying, you lot are doing me dirty, okay? They, to be fair, they was. They were trying to tell him um, that he has to fight another final eliminator when he was already... Um, or was he? He was already a full world champion. Or it, there was a lot of confusions within it because WBA are looking to cut down on belts, and so they make a final eliminators and mandatory positions, and they just try to do matchups so just to reduce the number of belts. And Ugas was on the wrong side of all of that after beating Manny Pacquiao because his title was recognized as a full world championship title, to my understanding. But twenty twenty two she's right that happens i don't want but sorry not but um uh but if i spent as well but like th spence this all just ties back into spence to be fair if he goes up to one five foot bro the boxing world are like it's just, they're just gonna come for him man they're just gonna stick it on him because it's just that's just blatant ducking unless he's overgrowing the size where he's really struggling to make weight i get it okay i really do but like it's just one or two fights bro this is literally two fights you guys then uh if you beat you guys crawford and then you can go up and do whatever you gotta do okay i, I don't see this this need to go up at weight where when you get to one five four well, here you're gonna fight what Charlie? Come on, man! Like, let's not let's not kid ourselves, bro. There's not there's not that many big names at one five four. So you might as well just stick to one four seven for the time being, yeah. And then maybe in a couple of maybe in twenty twenty three, for example, stepping up to one five four. Okay. But that's in my opinion. Providing that he's not really struggling with the weight, I don't see any other reason, um, to step up and over overtly duck. Crawford or a really duck Ugas, okay, um, but we'll keep tabs on that that scenario. See what's happening um, with that with, with that with that situation. But thank you for watching this video. Like, subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you thought of Chizora. Do you think he should retire? Also, let me know who Parker should be facing next. Okay, another thing, um, Jake Paul, good, bad for boxing. What do you think of his fight? Who maybe he, he should fight next? If you're into that world of you know YouTube boxing, do you think this guy should just fight a, a top level professional boxer and get flattened? Um, you know, some people you know, have that opinion that he should fight Canelo and just get smacked up by Canelo and just keep it moving. You know, that's not it's not going to keep him. It's not going to stop him, but that's going to increase what he does to a new level. Okay, um. And also let me know what your thoughts are on this, you know, the whole Errol Spence situation about potentially him moving up and also the fact that he was ordered to fight Ugas, okay? Let me know all your thoughts in the description box below. Thank you for watching this video. Peace, love and prosperity. I'm going to see you guys in a bit. Peace.